biotechnology interacts with a reality that precedes it and participates in a larger social, cultural, political process. I do think that this sort of relationship of biotechnology and uh, corporate culture is not particularly good for us. The materials that go into the biotechnology are not neutral materials. They are from specific people's bodies. You know? Quite legitimately, there are some people who have real issues with, with big corporates controlling the seed or food crop that's going to feed us. When the funding shifts to a corporate funding and that itself is kind of obscured. Whose interest is it serving? If it's only relevant in the context of a corporate setting, how can I make money off of you, then we fail. We want to make a community lab where biotechnology is accessible and democratized to anybody who's even remotely curious. I actually do not have a professional background in biology. I'm completely self-taught. I think scientific literacy is important for all artists, it's not just me. In some ways I'm setting the worst example as a way of trying to um, help people understand what's actually happening. There's a lot of social need for community biotech labs and do-it-yourself biology. You have this really cool ground where experts and amateurs. There's a systemic problem in the biotech industry, and DIY Bio will be one of the kind of main engines that will drive change in the biotech industry. As technologies become more accessible, more democratized, and less expensive, we end up seeing a larger creative space being explored. You know, decentralized access to biotechnology is a politically charged Subject. What we have to do is set up the situation in which a critical discussion can happen. I think that art is one of many discursive sites where we can start to dismantle some of the barriers to people understanding. Life has this unique power of bringing out a level of, of empathy, of response, of recognition, of emotion that no other medium has. I don't think it's frivolous, but I think that the ethics are really important to talk about who is manipulating life, whether we should or shouldn't be doing it. So the ethics is not something that you debate. The ethics is stamped into the anatomy and the physiology of the organism in question. So if you don't know what actually genetically modifying things is, how are you supposed to vote on that? You need to think about the implications of these technologies rather than just sort of answering a sales pitch for bettering the world. Biology in general, uh, as we see it change so, so rapidly, is going to be relevant to everybody. On the one hand, it's about play and uh, sort of empowerment. But on the other hand, people having a more kind of hands-on relationship to this stuff is going to really improve their lives.